Mit gefangen, mit gehangen. It, uh, it's two words, it's kind of brutal. Uh, mit gefangen and mit gehangen both start with the prefix with, mit, with. And uh, gefangen is uh, captured or caught, and uh, gehangen is hanged, like from the gallows. And uh, what it means is, uh, you know, if you get caught in the bad group with the wrong people at the wrong time, then you get hanged with the bad group. And it, it, uh, Germans, it's hard to say where it comes from. Uh, uh, most Germans, I think, think it comes from the days of the highway robbers in uh, well, it was probably the 18th century, you know, when uh, when, the, when the German roads were lawless and uh, and and you would... You know, if, 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 you, if you, you go and you get a gang of highway robbers, you execute all of them. None of them live. They all die. And, uh, you know, you can say, well, you know, I was just I was just doing the dishes. You know, I was just I was the cook. I, I didn't actually do anything. It doesn't matter. You caught with them. You die with them. You get hanged with them. Uh, I don't know what exactly where it comes from. But this is this is what Germans think of is that if you're running with the wrong crowd, you basically share the fate of the wrong crowd. You can't you can't weasel your way out of it. I mean, nowadays you can, uh, you know, and good luck with that. But in the end, you got to kind of think about the consequences of what you're doing before you get caught. You can't say, well, you know, it, it wasn't me. That's it. It's like Texas, but but even better. Uh, I I really like that because it's so brutal. And but I have to say. What I think of when I hear this phrase is democracy. It is, it, it's a perfect description of democracy. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that, but I do, of course. Uh, democracy is a situation where you vote with everyone else and the votes get counted and uh, you may lose. Probably, in fact, most of the time you will probably lose. You will probably not get what you want and you have to accept it. You know, I'm kind of like, I, I guess, politically left of center a little bit. And so I, most of my friends tend to be slightly on the left or extremely on the left or something. And then whenever there's a Republican president, they say automatically, oh, I'm so shocked and this is the end of the world. And, and uh, you know, this is no longer my country and this is not my president. I didn't vote for him. He is not my president. But you see, it doesn't matter whether you voted for him or not. He's still your president because this is a democracy. That's how it works. You, you don't. You, a democracy does not mean that you get what you want. It doesn't mean that everyone will come to you and ask you what your opinion is and, and do what you tell them to do. That's kind of, that is actually described as dictatorship. It's the opposite of democracy. A democracy is, it's a compromise that is mathematical compromise. The votes are counted. And, uh, you know, more often than not, you will not get what you want. And you have to accept that. You can't just, you know, leave the country for four years every time uh, the, the wrong president gets, gets uh, voted for. And, and you, can't, you can't pretend not to be a part of it because you are. Whenever I hear people say something like, and I hear this a lot, he's not my president. I didn't vote for him. He's not my president. I think these are actually very immature people. They don't understand what democracy is. They don't understand what they're doing. Uh, and they haven't come to the point yet where they respect the other people of their country enough to say, if you guys won, if the decision falls to you, then I'll accept that and we, we're going with that. Of course, you know, you can always pr criticize. That's part of the democratic process. You can protest anything. That's part of the, It's important to protest. In fact, it's important to stand up and say, you tell your opinion. But to disengage yourself, to say, you know, this is not my America, um, what you're thinking of is not a democracy. You're thinking of a of a kind of a fantasy dictatorship where you're the guy that everyone you know bows down to, and uh, and then you're just basically full of crap. The uh, the thing the thing we would say in English, the equivalent in English would be probably a, we're all in the same boat. Mitgefangen, mitgehangen, we're all in the same boat. It more or less means the same thing. The, the thing is, the reason I like the German better is because this, the English version, we're all in the same boat, is so, it's so lolly-folly, nice guy, you know, Disney, it's a small world after all. It's all like, we're all in the same boat, so why don't we all work together? Why don't we all, you know, work together to make the world a better place? And uh, why don't we all be nice to each other? And, and it's, so, it's so positive. I mean, I guess it's good to be positive, right? We're Americans, we, we should be positive, but, but sometimes I like the... 
the 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 this ultimate you know consequence of of the german saying mitgefang and mitgehangen it's it's like saying we're all in the same boat and it's sinking and we're all going to die together that's what the germans are saying and uh and it's it is a slight negative but perfect description of democracy 1 2 3 4